Hey there y'all, welcome back to Homemade Collectibles channel. Today we're going to review the Amber, I'm sorry, the Hammond Collection Velociraptor Delta Posable Action Figure. This is a Target exclusive figure that is available. Um, and um, it's a pretty cool figure. It's my um, fourth Hammond Collection figure I've had. Um, actually, no, sixth. Um, I don't have the others anymore, but I have the Hammond Collection Giganosaurus, and this is actually the second one I own. Um, that, the other ones I sold off uh, a while ago, but it's a pretty cool figure, and I don't have this mold. This is the first time I'm playing with this mold. Um, this is basically a retool, re-sculpt of the first Velociraptor figure that came in 2022 with the release of the Amber Collection toy line. And um, I like this figure, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the figure here. So heads up, I am not a Jurassic Park collector. I'm not like a professional in terms of how accurate this is. I'm just reviewing this as a product and I do know a little bit about, I know this is a dinosaur from uh, Jurassic World, the 2015 reboot. This is one of the Velociraptors squad from, uh, you know, Chris Owens, um, Chris Pratt's Raptor squad. This is the one, I think that bit Hoskins in the hand um, when he was trying to explain the uh, dinosaur military shit or whatever so i do like the figure and it's just amazing that we get you know super poseable jurassic park dinosaurs available in retail you know y'all got to remember there was a time a long time where we never got stuff like this you know before 2018 oh, everything's falling down sorry sorry i was saying that there was a time where we never got you know, super posable Jurassic Park figures and dinosaurs on retail before 2018. Um, so it, it always kind of amazes me that this is where we are, you know. Uh, $14.99 super posable, super detailed, accurate Jurassic Park figure. Uh, Jurassic World, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, it's a great looking figure. Let's take a look at the details. They have done a really good job with the details. Mattel does a good job. Uh, one of my favorite, favorite new things Mattel is doing is the teeth. The teeth are not scrubby. They're not, you know, child looking. This is what they should have done. Look at the teeth on this dinosaur. They're individual and they're not sharp at all. You know, this is a collector's item, but it's still a kid's toy. Um, so it's not like you're gonna hurt yourself um, They look really good. It's absolutely fantastic um, It's one of the reasons why I kind of going back into collecting Mattel stuff is they did away with the garbage teeth That they've done before where it's all one molded piece with the mouth. No, this is an individually um, Sculpted teeth and it looks fantastic especially if you do it like this you know, how the Velociraptors do in the movie when they're kind of growling. You can see a little bit of their teeth sticking out, but not too much. This is what we could not do with the other Velociraptor figures. I mean, that is incredible. I love the fact that the teeth are like that. The gums are painted, of course, uh, really nice. The only thing I would say is that there is paint chipping and you can already see it right here. Every time I open this mouth, that far so there's gonna be some paint chipping but that's just quality you know these days but yeah I I know oh, it's also because I kind of open it like this I just wanted to see how far I can go but yeah just be wary of that it also does have the glass eyes which I know a lot of people don't like I don't mind at all I think it looks great I mean just take a look at that like this is a retail, this is a toy you can buy at your local stores. Like that's just incredible because we never had that before, you know, before 2018. The neck, 
is okay. I don't like how this is bigger than this. You know what I mean? But that's just what it is to get the articulation, which you can see is fantastic. But the neck is kind of there. It's kind of basic. There is some white paint under the dinosaur, which is pretty good. I'm surprised there's no black striping here. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not, but yeah, I would think this dinosaur would have these black stripes go all the way up here. Someone comment down that below because there is black um, paint and detail on the head, but nothing for the neck. I don't know if it's supposed to go all the way or Mattel was lazy or it's this is accurate. Someone please comment down below. The body is great, of course. It's got all the great details, all the great textures, and it looks pretty good. No complaints there. The arms are good as well. Um, of course, you're gonna have, you know, when you bend the arm like this, a little bit of gappage right there, but that's just for the articulation's sake. But it, it's, it does not bother me personally. The claws are pretty good as well. They're pretty accurate, I think, but you know, they're pretty good. There's also some black paint here too on the shoulder area. Yeah, painted claws too, that's great. Claws are painted on the claws and the toes. The legs are really good as well. It's got the stripe here. And you can see that the feet are not overly gigantic which does make the figure look so much better. I personally didn't really, it personally never bothered me, but I know it bothered a lot of people out. You know, at least Mattel listened before the feet was pretty, pretty wide, but you can see the sickle claw right there. Was un unfortunately, the sickle claw is not articulated. I would give points on that. I think they should have been articulated. I know this is a, a smaller dinosaur, but it's $15. And then the tail is a bendy wire. So if you want to pose that tail, it's a bendy wire tail. And it's got a really basic black paint on the top here and then the bottom. You can kind of see the white paint goes through and it kind of stops. I wish it kept going. So overall, um, the paint in detail the details great i think they should have added more paint more of the black paint and a little bit more on the back of the tail but for me it's not too bad it's just i i wish there's a little bit more but um one of the one really good thing about this figure and hammer collection figures are the articulation the jaw can go up and down The head can go forward, down, and you can rotate it 360. Same thing with the neck, forward and down, side to side, 360, any direction you want to think possible. No articulation on the body here, but that's okay, it's not really needed. The arms both can go forward, I'm sorry, side to side, forward and back. And then same thing with the elbow joint. You can go uh, side to side. And you can rotate it 360. It is a really small joint, so I'm not gonna like mess with that. I feel like the legs can go spread out like that. Not as much as it used to, I would think, but um, I never had a smaller hammer collection figure, so I don't know. And swivel the legs 360 like that there is a knee joint right here you can go this farther back this farther forward you can swivel it shockingly nothing over here which i kind of will get points off as well i wish they would have added a joint here you know, since they added it here, they could have added a joint here because some of the, like the Amber Collection figures, they had a joint here, because I, I remember specifically. 
um, owning a Delta, coincidentally, of the Hammond collection. So no joint here, and but there is a joint on the leg section. Legs can go like that, forward and back, rotate 360. No sickle claw paint, kind of sucks. The tail is attached. You can rotate it, move it up and down that forward, and then the bendy tail is um, as far as you want it to go, though it's not the greatest bendy tail. Um, I would still be careful. My copy is kind of tearing the small holes that are usually on bendy wire figures. It's kind of already tearing itself right there. So, yeah. Overall, I like this figure. I mean, it, it does the job, in my opinion, of being a posable Jurassic World Velociraptor. Um, paint could be better. The articulation on the legs I wish was better, but overall, I've heard this is a, the sculpt, the sculpt, not the figure, not the character, but the sculpt of this toy has been improved from the previous Velociraptors, especially the head that I've seen pictures. It has been uh, improved pretty well, so. Yep, um, I do have a link available to purchase this if you're interested. I also got custom action figures that are available on the, this video's link below. Check them out, check out my store. Comment down below if you want to see more dinosaur toy reviews, toy reviews in general for my channel. Please comment down below, subscribe, give a like. Um, Thank you for watching and have a good one.